Greetings Earthlings, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raquel and I am just over the moon that you are here today because I'm gonna be doing something that is kind of near and dear to my heart. Very chill, but very special. I will be painting a majestic beast. <laughs> I think pets have so much personality and bring so much joy and happiness into our homes and it's just really special to capture them in artwork. Last year, I dipped my toes into the world of commission painting and pretty quickly figured out that my specialty is pet portraits. So I've painted a lot of dogs and cats and bunnies this past year and I just really wanted to share with you all my process. And it also, it's about dang time that Django got his own special portrait. So I'm excited to create that today. and just share with you the joy of capturing a little doggy twinkle in an eye or a little toothy smile. It's just so satisfying and special and I feel like I really get to know the animals through this process. It's cute, it's fun, it makes me happy and I hope it makes you happy too. Before we dive in though, I do wanna give a little disclaimer that the way I paint is the way I paint. I know that I'm probably not doing everything exactly by textbook technique, but I really enjoy this process and it works for me and I'm happy with the results. It's kind of just a product of me experimenting over the years and I hope that by watching this video, you can be inspired to try painting or something new that you've been nervous about doing the wrong way. Here's the secret. I don't think there's a wrong way in art. Okay, really stoked for this one. Let's go ahead and dive right in. God, don't make dog jokes. Um, <laughs> I love how the shape of his little doggy body came out in the sketch. So now I'm really excited to move on to the next phase of this painting, which is gonna be the watercolor phase. So I mainly do my paintings in watercolor and then at the end you'll see, I like to go back with like acrylic and sometimes pen, a little bit of a mixed media situation here, but the watercolor is definitely my favorite part and I'm really excited for it. The one thing I am worried is gonna kind of slow me down with this painting is obviously, I know Django super well, and he will be here this entire time. So I think I'm gonna get very caught in the details, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but I think it might slow me down. Normally, if I'm making a painting of an animal, it's of an animal I've met once, or I'm just working off of a photo. So it's easier to just work on what you see directly in front of you versus getting really caught up in making sure you capture every single floof. So this might be a rough, process. Another dog joke. Okay, I'm gonna stop making dog jokes right now. I think I should just cancel my whole YouTube channel after something like that. It is another lovely day and I just feel happy and inspired to keep going and try to finish this painting today. I'm really happy with how the main blocks of watercolor turned out yesterday. Now it's just a matter of going in and adding in more watercolor detail as well as little sprinkle of acrylic here, little dash of technical pen there. Adding those elements in aren't super traditional but it's what makes this type of painting, this type of portrait really fun for me. So you know what? 
you should give that a try. Just mix all your paints and art supplies together. See what fun comes out. What does it hurt? All right, I'm so excited to get this done and Django's really excited to get this portrait done as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Yay. there is a solid chance that there's gonna be a lot of squeaker toy noise in this part of the video. But it wouldn't be a video about my dog if there wasn't squeaker toy noise. Okay, the painting is done and I had my doubts, but I'm really happy with how it came out. I think the turning point for me was adding in the pen and line work. That just really kind of gives it a unique flair and I was able to really capture those last little details that I was after. If you end up wanting to put pen or line work on your own artwork, I highly recommend using Prisma Micron pens. They have archival ink and they just do a lot better with artwork than like ballpoint or Sharpie. So take from me, save your beautiful artwork that you've worked so hard on and use the right type of pen if you're gonna put any sort of overlay on it. All right, so before we're officially done here, of course I need to show you all some product shots and then of course we need to get Django's approval and make sure he likes the portrait. Um, I'm really excited to show you all and I hope you think it's cute. I think it's cute. All right, let's check it out. much for watching my video. I really appreciate all the folks who make it to the end. Y'all rock. High five. I also really appreciate all of my patrons who support me and encourage me and connect with me pretty much on the daily in our Discord. Y'all are just amazing artists and friends and I really appreciate your support. If you're interested in becoming a patron, we're gonna do something really fun next month. We're gonna do like a paint along where I try to go a little bit more into detail with how I paint and try to share a tiny bit of the tiny bit of knowledge that I have. So I think it should be really fun. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Raquel's crazy style of painting, I suggest you join up. Well, anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you go out and create something and I hope you don't drink too much coffee. And if you do, just drink a lot of water and even it out. Okay, all right, you all have a good day. Bye-bye. Cool wave. Yeah.